So in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can fix this error. Fair enough, what happens is if you try to run this JMeter script, you get this error saying file uh, .csv already exists. What do you want to do? Note, you can avoid this pop-up by defining property result collector action if file exists. So the reason why this uh, pop-up is coming is because in the summary report, we have mentioned that I want to save the results in this file report.csv but if that file already exists and it contains some data then you will get this error saying that file already exists and which is logical as well because Jemeter is telling that the already data exists what you want to do with that file you want to overwrite or you want to stop or you want to append so these three options are available so most of the times what uh, we want to do is we want to override that file so you can click here but the problem is that this pop-up comes every time you try to run it but there is one setting as you can see in here result collector dot action if file exists so if you um, change this setting then this pop-up will not come and you can by default override this file so i will show you where you can uh, change this setting result collector dot action if file exists so the setting is available in jmeter directory so wherever you have installed jmeter you have to go there in the bin directory and in there there is one file called as jmeter properties this one so you have to open that file and you will find one setting uh, result collector dot action in file so by default it is ask so what you have to do is you have to use this delete option there and you have to restart your jmeter so i'm gonna restart jmeter now So let me restart the Jmeter and yeah, Jmeter is now restarted. So this time around, if you try to run it, you will see that uh, that pop up is not coming and file will get overwritten. So you can see this time around that pop-up didn't come because we have told jmeter to override the result file that's how we can fix that error and apart from that if you are facing any other issue or error related to jmeter do not hesitate to contact me because i have got a lot of experience uh, working in jmeter script so you can definitely come back to me and i can also teach you one-on-one -on -one sessions as well thanks for watching this video